Hello, today we're going to be going over the Data Scientist Toolbox project. So if you're not familiar with Git, um, this could be a bit of a pain. So that's why I'm going to go over it. So part one of the project is just simply installing r, &R Studio, and then once you install it, uh, basically just take a screenshot and submit it. So the part that you're here for is really just uh, setting up Git, um, learning how to a git clone, uh, git add, git commit, git push, and deal with the various issues of git, mainly part 4. But to do that first, you have to set up a GitHub account. And we'll have to create a repo called Data Science Coursera, and then we'll submit the link to, the, uh, to that particular repo. Okay? So, I'm already signed in, so I'll sign out. So, for new users, this might be helpful. So you go to github.com and then either sign up if you don't have an account or sign in if you have one. So I'm going to sign in. Typically in the top right hand corner you can make a new repository. Um, it's mine I'm going to call Data Science Coursera. I recommend initializing with a readme um, and then create a repo. Um, for the purpose of this I'm going to initialize with a readme at least for right now. Okay, so there's a couple different ways um, that will continue uh, for part four. But for right now, all you need to do is just copy the URL, and that's what you'll submit for part two. Part three is really easy. All we're doing is forking. Um, I don't know why we're really forking this. Um, forking is usually for open source contributions and such, but anyway. So part of it is just to get familiar with Git, right? So just press fork, and then I'm forking it um, to my GitHub. And then that's it. You just copy the URL, and you'll submit that. OK, so for part four, there's a couple different ways to do it. So the easiest way is to basically um, just do it on GitHub's website. and so basically, we'll, we'll create a hello world.md file and add the line, this is a markdown file. So if you're not familiar with Git at all and you don't want to, um, well, there's a very easy way to do this. So you go back to your data science um, Coursera repo. And what you can do is say create new file and hello world.md. And then this is a secondary heading, and then saying this is a markdown file, you should um, just say something like add in hello world.md. You don't have to say anything. And then commit new file. And then literally all you do is submit this URL. That's if you just want to you know, get done with the project. If you care about um, learning about Git in general, um, there's a couple of different ways we're going to go over this. So I'm going to delete this file just for instructional purposes. Okay, so I'm going to delete the readme too. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'll show you how to work with git on the command line. So I, uh, I'm going to git clone this, so I copy the URL and then open up a terminal um, excuse the messiness here. So I'll get clone. Oh, so I'm going to CD to my desktop because I want to have my repo or my local copy of the repo on my desktop. So I'll get clone. Okay. And then I'm going to CD, um, basically just go into whatever I cloned, Data Science Coursera. And if you want to make the readme file um, in our studio, you can. So just do file, new file, and then text file, and then, oops, um, this is a markdown file. Is that what they wanted to say? Let's see. Um, I should also mention that I have links to um, all the assignments. And I have all the assignments that I've done 
on my other GitHub. And I'll show you where that is. And basically, I have not just the, the first course, Data Science Toolbox, but I have assignments for um, the entire specialization written out in nice, pretty markdown format. So what you're learning is actually pretty useful. So um, we're basically just going back to making the file in our studio. Okay, and then since my repo is on my desktop, I'm going to save this file um, as what they wanted, hello world.md. Save. Okay. So if we were in the Data Science Coursera um, local repo, I guess, best way to say it. Um, so we do ls to see that the hello world.md file is there. It is. So we're going to add it. Get add hello world.md. We're going to git commit. It's the same thing as if you just use the GitHub website. Um, but you should put a message of some sort. Um, let's just say have it added hello world.md file and then git push origin master. Okay. Depending on the settings for your terminal and um, your git config and all that stuff, um, they may ask you to enter a password or whatnot. Um, so that's it in case, um, if this is good enough for you, um, that's great. You can turn your assignment. Um, if you need help with the remaining courses, I'll have a link below to all my coursework and in case you just want to reference or you can't afford the specialization or whatever. Okay, so one of the most common errors that people run into, especially with this assignment, is if they clone the repository and they're unable to push the markdown file um, back to their remote repo or the online repo, right? So I'm going to go over and replicate this error where someone got updates were rejected because the tip of the current branch is behind its remote counterpart. Okay, so I'm going to do a fresh clone of the repo uh, to replicate this error and then go through how you would solve this. So I basically just erased everything on the repo we created, um, and I'll replicate this. So the first thing we'll do is we'll clone. So I'm going to CD back to my desktop, and I erase the local repo copy I had before. So git clone data science Coursera, okay, and then CD data science Coursera, ls, and there's nothing there, okay? So one thing I'll do again is I want to create a file. Um, I don't want to close this file. No, okay. So save as. I'm basically recreating the hello world uh, markdown file. And then I'm going to make it so we can't push because our local repo isn't current enough. But I'll show you how to recreate. We uh, recreate the error and then how to solve it. So I saved it. Okay. So the the thing we cloned and the file we just saved in here is here. Okay. So 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 far so good. We could um, get add um, the hello world the markdown file, get a commit and a git push, and we'd be okay right now. So one thing that people run into is if the updates were rejected because the tip of the current branch is behind its remote counterpart. So if someone wanted to mess with you or for some reason you see this, you know, message on your online repo and it tells you how to read me or something's added here that you don't want or you forgot you added. Um, so what's online right now is not the same thing that we cloned, you know, 30 seconds ago or however long it was. So if I try to push this repo, it's going to say we're behind, um, we'll be behind, right? Uh, re updates were rejected because the tip of the current branch is behind its remote counterpart. But the thing is, is 
the thing we're going to want to add is a separate file completely, right? It has nothing to do, the hello world.markdown file has nothing to do with readme.md. So, I'm going to replicate the error right now just to show you that you can't push unless we do something. So, git add hello world.markdown, git commit, um, added hello world.md, assuming I can type, and then git push origin master, and we'll get the same error. Okay? So updates were rejected because the remote contains work that you do not have locally. Okay. So to fix this, we're going to have to do a special kind of pull. And it's called a git pull rebase. And what that does is essentially what we have, uh, at least on my local computer, is a hello world markdown file. But we don't have that readme file. So what the, the pull rebase does is it'll take everything from the online repo um, that we don't have. It'll basically take a version and bring it to locally. Um, so it'll basically just be the readme. And then afterwards, it'll apply the changes I made, i.e. adding the hello world markdown file. And then, so let's just see this in practice to see how it goes, OK? So get pull rebase. So it's bringing the readme file back uh, to my local, and then it adds the hello world in there. OK? One second. So OK. So now I have the, the readme file and the hello world that MB file. So my local uh, repo or local folder has everything I need now, and now I just need to make it what's local match what's online, or what's remote, quote unquote. So now we can git push origin master. Okay? Um, and then if I refresh this, you'll see we have what we need. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to comment. Also, if you're curious about the next course in the specialization or you just need some help, um, feel free to ask. I have a blog about the different courses. Um, the next one's our programming, and then it just goes on and on uh, throughout the specialization. And also, I have everything on my GitHub repo, which I'll post down below. Okay, that's it. Uh, have a great day.